Then we come to the Middle Orient. I don't think anybody else has used this term, but I'm trying to use the term, the Middle Orient. I'm referring to the Indian civilizational region. Now, unlike the African situation, you couldn't have said that the Oriental people had no, no, no civilization or history. In fact, the Middle Orient had probably the longest history known so far, 5,000 years or more. And therefore, you couldn't have dismissed them as a people without history or and therefore no nation. The rationale will have to be different. Here the problem was the caste hierarchy and of course the oppression of women. This combination was a lethal combination for democracy to be institutionalized and therefore it was necessary to civilize them also. 